up you guys it's your girl tay and i'm back with another video thank you so much for clicking on this video today and coming back to spend yet again some more time with your girl if you're new here hit that subscribe button join the fam and you guys subscribe 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 and check that description box for all my detailed giveaways because when you do subscribe you enter yourself in a chance to win my very next giveaway which we aren't too far from announcing so Get those entries in, remain active, and you will receive multiple entries in that giveaway. You guys, today's video, as you can tell by the title, is just going to be a little list that I composed of some things that I feel like are tips for people who plan to visit Germany or Europe or anything in general. Maybe you can't take all of these tips and use them, but I can guarantee you that if you do plan to travel here to Europe or Germany, that something in this list will sit right with you. The first thing on my list, you guys, is going to be to always carry cash. Always carry cash. I can guarantee you 8.5 out of 10 places that you go are not going to accept card. It's just how things go here in Germany. I've heard things like the um, merchant takes so much percent from the restaurant or the employer or the employees that's why they don't utilize the card system that's why they don't accept cards they of course want all their money ran back to them so yeah that's what i've heard is the reason why germany a lot of places don't accept card so yes always carry cash always carry cash in germany it's not cheap but it's like you can get around on what you have basically like you can get a pretzel for like what a euro 20 or a butter pretzel for like a euro 80 and so on and so forth so you can definitely get by on you know a couple dollars not a couple dollars but let's say like 50 to 100 oidos in cash if you're not looking to like shop you just want to sightsee you know and do that those small things so i'm not saying walk around with thousands in cash you know just research what you want to do research some prices of what you want to do and carry that amount of cash with you because nine times out of ten they're going to tell you they do not accept card the next uh, uh, app the next um tip that i have for those of you who do plan to travel to germany or europe in general is to download two apps i don't know if these are the correct names for all over europe all over germany but i do know that here where i live near augsburg is the AVV, but in English it would be the AVV app, and it's the bus app. In that app, they tell you the prices to where you want to go, the stops in between from where you are and where you're going, how many stops there are, the name of the stops, the name, the price of the ticket that you need to buy, so you can always be prepared. Again, the bus does not accept card, so that's that one. And then the next one is going to be the Deutsche Bahn app. And again, I don't know if that's the exact name for all over Germany, but I'm sure that if you look in your app store, or your Google Play store, whatever it is that you have, you can find a train app to local to where you are. Now, the train, if you buy your ticket, which I think that's the only way you can, you might be able to buy them on the train. I never have. I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments if you can buy your ticket once you're already on the train. The train, um, the one where I live, it does accept card, but again, you're not on there. It's a machine, so most likely a machine does accept card. So yes, the train station accepts card, but the bus, you cannot pay with card. <clears throat> the next thing is going to be, you don't. You have to remember that you are no longer in America where waitresses and waiters are being paid two bucks an hour. You are in a country where they are actually paid for what they do. They um, are actually not paid two euros an hour, two dollars, whatever they are paid for what they do. So they are paid, you know, I don't want to say their worth because somebody might, you know, be offended and be like, I'm a waitress here in Germany and I'm not paid, much, so I'm not even going to go there. What I'm going to say is they're paid better than they are in America. So you don't have to worry about those super large tips that you leave. Like in America, you know what? Sometimes you'll go out to eat and you'll be like, man, that service was so bomb. She was like on it. She, My drink never needed a refill. I never had to ask for anything. I'm going to leave her like 15 bucks. 20 bucks, you know, depending on how large your your bill is. So in a Germany, they are not paid underpaid like in America. They are paid, you know, per hour an actual wage. So understand that they're not expecting that big old tip at the end. I'm sure they would appreciate something, but even sometimes I feel like I'll give them a two euro piece or two two pieces or something, and they'll be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And it's like that meant so much to them. So I'm not sure if German to just maybe tip a euro, if anything, or what it is, but they are very, very appreciative of just about anything as a tip. Because I don't think Germans, you know, I don't think the waitresses and waiters here, I don't think they expect that because they already know that they are paid 
at a good rate hourly, unlike in America. The next thing is gonna be stay out of the bike lane. You don't know how many times when I first got here that I didn't even realize that I veered off into the bike lane because it's literally one lane that's divided by a piece of just white strip for the walking and the bikers. It's divided. What you'll hear in, if you're in that bike lane, bike lane is a little ringing of their bell and they'll most likely mumble something under their breath whenever they go by. I've never been able to understand anything that they mumble. I'm sure I don't want to understand anything that they mumble. Um, I haven't really had this experience since I've been learning German of anybody, you know, riding on by and saying anything to me. But when I definitely didn't understand any German, I definitely got, when I first got here and I was continuously in the bike lane, I definitely got those mumbles and I can only imagine what they were saying. It irritates them so bad whenever you're in the bike lane walking. Um, I don't really ride bikes like that. I don't really know the frustration, but I can imagine that it's irritating and it's annoying. Like, obviously there's two different lanes, walk in one, ride your bike in the other one, cut and dry. They're probably like, how hard is it to understand? The next thing on my list is going to be, if you are, if you have real bad allergies or real bad asthma or just dislike the smell of cigarettes or tobacco, period, understand that a lot of Germans or a lot of people here smoke cigarettes, you guys. A lot of people. At one point I had like 27 people in my class and it was only this one girl and I that would, no, this two ladies and I that would stay back whenever it was time for a break in the middle of class and we were the only three people who were not running outside to smoke a cigarette, okay? It's like that. Everybody smokes cigarettes. You can look at some kids and you're like, there's no way they're old enough to smoke cigarettes. And you can bet you're behind whenever you turn around, they are huffing and puffing on a cigarette. It's like everybody smokes cigarettes here. Like my mom, she smoked cigarettes all my life. She still smokes cigarettes. So it's like, I've been kind of like used to the smell, but honestly, if you don't smoke cigarettes, you don't smoke tobacco, you don't smoke anything, I can guarantee you that's a smell we never get used to. Comment down below if you know what I mean. There's like nothing like the smell of a cigarette. It smells terrible. So yes, if you have really bad allergies or you're really asthmatic or things like that trigger you, expect to be triggered because a lot of people here in Germany smoke. It's like you'll be sitting outside at a cafe or a restaurant and you know, the tables would be kind of close knit so you wouldn't think while other people are smoking, I mean eating, that somebody would light up a cigarette, but yes, they will. They will light that cigarette. Granted, they're outside, free will, do what you want, but yes, a lot of people smoke cigarettes here. I can say like with pure confidence that eight out of, I'm gonna say 11 people smoke cigarettes here in Germany. That's what it seems like to me. Maybe it's because I don't smoke. It seems like everybody and their mom is smoking around me and it just seems heavier like on my senses, but people who don't, people who smoke cigarettes, obviously the smell doesn't bother them. Those of us who don't smoke, the smell is kind of rank, you know? The next thing is going to be to remember to gather everything you need for the weekend before Sunday. Sundays are rest days. I want to say most restaurants, like bigger restaurants, are open for dinner on Sundays or even maybe all day, like cafes. But supermarkets and stores and things of that such, oh, and gas stations are open. So yeah, remember to gather everything you need for Sunday dinner before Sunday because it's not happening if you forget it. You're going to have to go out to eat or do with what you got in the house. So yeah, Sundays are rest days. They're quiet days. There's no Sunday fun day. Like I said in my last video, if you haven't seen that one, Germany might not be for you if dot, dot, dot. Go ahead and go back and check that one out. You guys, leave me some love on it. Let me know some of your input or what you think Germany might not be for you if dot, 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 and finish that sentence in the comments. So yes, you guys, no Sunday fun day. Sunday is a rest day. Gather all your things you need for Sunday before Sunday. <laughs> okay, you guys, moving right along. The next one is going to be you can drink alcohol in public. This was kind of a shocker to me because I feel like in America, we try to mask the fact of people drinking. Like if you go in the liquor store and you buy a bottle, they're most likely putting it in a brown paper bag. Um, it's like it has to be hidden. It always has to be hidden. Like there's no like, you know, I can't even, in America, if I go in the gas station, I buy a beer, I cannot walk out with that beer in my hand. And you guys got to remember, in America, the beer is like, what, 2%? Like, very minimal. So it's damn near just pissing a can, okay? So you cannot walk out with alcohol in your hand. Here in Germany, you can walk out with a bottle of liquor in your hand that you paid for, wine, um, a beer, um, um, anything. <laughs> anything that you can think of that's alcoholic, you can walk out the store with it after you have paid for it in your hand without a bag you can also drink in public 
so I think that's pretty cool that's a tip to remember that's kind of a cool thing that like I remember when we went to when I went to Las Vegas one time and I could walk down the street drinking a beer I thought that was so amazing because where I was from we couldn't do that but certain cities like big cities like that they do a lot of things like that but nine times out of ten you cannot drink in public in America that you can get a fine you can get um a ticket and if you're intoxicated you can be sent to jail so yeah you don't even want to get into that in America but here in Germany it is quite all right to drink your alcohol in public having a beer with breakfast is also pretty normal here in Germany um, I've seen many of times whenever we go out for breakfast people are you know they have this and this with the beer so it's just like because it has such a good taste has so many flavors in it I can see that I personally have never had a beer with my breakfast. I just, I prefer water whenever I eat. I mean, I don't know, you know, like I said yesterday, or I did record yesterday, that video is going up today. So like I said in my last video, different strokes for different folks. The next one is going to be something that I always talk about because us as Americans, we do take a lot of things so personal, you guys, but my other half being German, I have learned to accept the fact that people stare, okay? And that's my last tip is going to be expect people to stare at you especially if you're not from here if you look different and like I said it's not a hateful stare it's more of a I'm interested you know you look different of course I'm gonna look you know so yeah and like I said you can give them that stare back like I see you staring at me and they're still gonna just look like they're like probably confused as to why you're giving them a rude stare and they're giving you just a natural I'm interested stare so yeah you guys expect the stares they don't mean nothing by it. If you feel offended, I mean, do what you wish, speak up. But me personally, I've learned to just keep it moving. I'm not gonna stand here and have a staring contest with you. If you're that interested and you wanna know something that bad, you will come up to me and you will ask me. But yeah, you guys, that's just my little list that I composed of tips for those of you who do plan to travel to Europe or Germany. Like I said, all of those tips might not be useful in every single part of Germany, but I can guarantee you, Something on that list can sit right with you if you do plan to travel here. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for rocking with your girl, watching my video, showing love. And don't forget to subscribe to any of yourself and a chance to win my giveaway, you guys. All those details are in the description box below. Let me know if you like the videos about Germany or if you prefer vlogs or story time. Because I do have a mix on my channel, but there can always be more. More can always be done. There's always room for improvement, you guys. So thank you guys again and again and again for spending some time with your girl today. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, fam.